Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palichathayel. I bring you greetings in the joy of the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Pardon me. Jesus takes delight in us. Let us receive the joy of Jesus and give that to everyone throughout this day, throughout our life. We have been meditating about how to be Christians. What does it mean to be a Christian? Today I invite you to meditate on Romans chapter 12 verse 3. Apostle Paul wrote, let me read. For by grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with the sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the measure of faith God has given us. Oh, sisters and brothers, how important that is for us to meditate. Often the devil tempts us to, to think of ourselves more highly than others. We compare ourselves with others. In this scripture, Apostle Paul says, do not do that. With the sober judgment in accordance with the faith. What does our faith say? We are children of God, not just me alone, not you alone, but all of us are children of God. God created us according to his plan, in his image. And God allowed his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our salvation. <clears throat> the grace of salvation is given to each one of us Equally, none of us are superior or inferior. We need to think of ourselves with humility. We all receive from what God has for us. Therefore, our, the, the, what we need to do is to praise God. Praise God for all the gift of faith, hope and love He has bestowed upon us. Praise God for the calling he has given us to be his children, to be the disciples of Jesus Christ, the followers of Jesus Christ. They are all given to us. As we praise God for the gift of redemption, gift of salvation, gift of amazing love, <clears throat> we cannot but give that to everyone. Oh, throughout this day, let us tell the people around us, especially Christians around us, Jesus loves you beyond your imagination. Jesus died on the cross for you. He will never give up on you. Those who have not welcomed Jesus as their Lord and Savior, we can encourage them. The gift of faith is for you. If you open up your heart, and welcome Jesus into your heart. He will come and live within you and help you in every aspect of your life. He is our best friend. Jesus says, I do not call you servants any longer. Instead, I have called you friends. Jesus has called us friends. It is important for us to celebrate the truth that we are friends of Jesus Christ. Jesus lives in us as our best friend. And he wants to talk with us, listen to us, and give us the power, his power, to overcome all temptations and multiply all the good things, great things God has given us. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us get excited about God's selection of us as his children, as his redeemed children. And let us communicate that good news to everyone throughout this day, throughout our life. Will you join me in this prayer? Let us pray. 
Eternal Father, we thank you for creating us in your image according to your own glorious plan. Lord Jesus Christ, how can we thank you enough for dying on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins? Thank you, Lord, for choosing to come and live within us as our best friend. Enable us to communicate with you, talk with you, listen to you, and trust you with our life. O Holy Spirit, continue to inspire us to be set on fire, fire of love. May that fire, your fire, glow in us, set us on a blaze. We ask this blessing, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen.